In this video, let us understand how to make online bug tracker. Uh, it's a quite big project because it's our three modules here. And it is done in ASP.NET with uh, C Sharp and the backend as SQL Server. But still, after watching this video, you could able to make it in uh, JSP or PHP or in Python. So it's a web application project demo. We'll show you a complete idea like how we can make bug tracker, what are the options we can provide in this, and how it will helpful for companies to manage their projects. So bug tracker we know like in case of large project, so where hundreds of people are working at each stage, if there is a problem and the employee found, so in order to communicate to the rest of the employees, they record a tool. So bug tracker is such a tool, so why you can communicate with the rest of the employees. Therefore, when they have a problem, they can raise the problem. The other concerned person has to read the problem and they need to solve the problem and then you need to update the questions. So this is the main concept in the bug tracker. Understand the project details now. Yes, I said already. So this is to track the bugs in the project. So here is a company which is the developing comp developer actually. They do development. So software development. development company this company will have a client or customer they will take the customer project after taking the project so this will be allocated to employees this company employees so this project will have a multi stage so particularly we talk about SDLC software development life cycle I'll not go in detail of it, but make it simple. Let's say stage 1, S1, S2, S3. Assume S3 is a testing, S1 is initial design, S2 is the development, S3 testing, S4 implementation. So this is the implementation. So in each stage, we can allocate the employees. So for S1, we can allocate employee 1, employee 2. All right. So this is employee 1, 2, some actually. For S2, let's say employee 21 employee 22 for s3 uh, employee 33 34 like this okay for each stage we can allocate the employees so when the employee checking employee 1 and employee 2 were doing so employee 2 may find some problem so that has to be rectified with the employee 1 so therefore they can raise the ticket so you should reach the employee 1 so employee 1 has to solve that problem and send back the information to employee 1 even employee 22 may be find some problem so that need to be solved by the employee 2 so therefore you can raise the ticket to the employee 2 employee 2 has to solve the problem and send back the information to the employee 2 too so even customer also will track all these things even admin can also track this okay so i'll show you this in the project so next uh, we'll see the project now For more details, you can right click on the iBlix tutorials and you can get mobile link in a new tab. So here you can see, you click on videos, our video list. So which are the videos you are interested, you can watch them. So if you watch few more videos, you will get a complete idea like how to make the project. So apart from this, we are explained like how to learn the language, how to make the synopsis, how to make the web design, how to make C Sharp project, all are explained. So please when you have time, so browse the videos and get understand and then you could be able to make the project yourself. So let's come back to this bug tracker here. So it will have a mainly three module. So one is admin module. Here are the admin options. The next one is the customer module. So these are the customer options. The one more is the employee option. So these are the employee options. And here you have a database. These are the tables in the project. Now let's run the project. Fine. Now you can see that you are in the first page of bug tracker. You can click here to continue. So we can go to admin login. So admin, we provide all these options, company details. If you go to list, there are two companies are created here. So likewise, you want to create a one more company. 
you can write the company details and the uh, company this thing so let's create like you know bpl right next is the project stages so if i go to list uh, design development stage final stage testing stage all four already done so you want more one more stage you need to create here the stage you have to create then next is the project details so here you have bpl payroll uh, hp and vanida customer care all these projects are provided so you want one more project that you need to enter here then project employee assignment so for bpl b role you can see that uh, we are upload we are already have the ravi 01 anu 102 like that uh, for every project we can allocate the employees so next is the customer so here you can approve the customer like customer list so it's already approved so if not approved we need to approve the customer then the corresponding list so faq entry and the corresponding list what are the common questions that you can write then employee details who are all the employees working here so ravi 100 anu 1002 so all these are the employees that list will come here and the ticket list raised by the uh, company or the customer or the employee and the answer, corresponding answers list will be shown here so now what we will do is we will take as an employee login so therefore we will copy the main address we will take one more tab and then we can go here so here you can go to employee login so let us say so you can log in here so here is the answer tickets if there is any questions will come to him so particularly uh, towards him it's there so you need to answer that question so you can write the answer here okay so after reading all the problem so what is the problem so completely they need to write uh, so okay so okay, okay i am identified and the problem is solved But actually you need to write exactly what it is but I am just roughly written there. So therefore when you are writing so therefore you need to write the, what is exactly question and then this is it. And raise a new ticket. When he is working if at all if he found there is some problem he can raise the ticket here. So if you refresh this there are two employees here Anu 002. So then you can it is in the design stage. So then you can write uh, in the payroll. Uh, do we need four extra columns? So you have to specify the what is the file name actually. Uh, this is payroll. Right, exactly what file you need to write. So time being, I'll take as a payroll uh, employee names. Okay, this is the file name. So then view tickets. So if there is any answer so that you can able to view it at the moment there is no answer fine so now uh, working report and apart from this you can also give the progress of the project okay so bpl payroll design stage what is the work you are done okay the time to time you need to upload it okay the design work is in progress so it require another month so that we can write down what is the time period required for this right so then employee list you could be able to see all the employees here now what i'll do is i just copy this so i'll just go as a company so you can log in as a company people customer login now you can see list of project what is the project payroll project so even they can raise the ticket view tickets if there is any ticket raised that you can also they can able to view so they can see that they can see the solutions what solution is already taken then view project progress so what are the employees written design work in progress that and all they can able to understand so you can see that uh, the customer will be somewhere the employee working somewhere so everybody in, in track and everybody can able to discuss via this project so this is the advantage of this project now i log out so employee login i log in as this is anu
So here is answer ticket. You can see that there is a question here. So select this, and so you have to write all the answers. Okay. Uh, do you need extra four columns? Okay. Then you have to answer. Uh, yes, so we required these four columns. And you have to give the explanation why you required and all these index, and then you can update it. So this will reach the employee one actually. So view tickets. So there are no tickets for her. Uh, if they can even she can raise the tickets here. Okay. So what we can do is we can log in again with the. So you can see that uh, ticket here. Yes, we require four columns, and if there is any explanation, that will come over here. So for the communication is in order, so worldwide they can work. Now they don't need to be one to uh, next to each other. Anywhere in the country they can able to work. So this is a bug tracker. If there is any problem in the software at any stages, okay, the list will be there at any stage, so they can rectify it. So therefore they can record all the things. It's easy for them to manage and then rectify the problem. So hope you understand the concept. If you have any doubt, please write it in the comment box. So let we are uh, eagerly looking at what you are thinking about this project. Thank you very much.